The AGM-183A, Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, or ARRW, has reportedly undergone its first successful end-to-end -end test, according to the U.S. Air Force and Lockheed Martin. The missile's unpowered hypersonic boost glide vehicle payload, which had a live warhead and traveled at speeds greater than Mach 5, was successfully released, according to the service, before striking a predetermined target area. Welcome back, everyone. You are watching Defense Space. We simplify defense technologies for you. If you are new here, consider subscribing to Defense Space to get notified whenever we upload a video. The AGM-183A is an air-launched rapid response weapon. It is shortly described as a RRW, which is a hypersonic missile with long range, which is designed, developed, and manufactured by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Air Force. The missile is being developed under the U.S. Air Force's Hypersonics Prototyping Program element. The missile's software development strategy was released in May 2018, and the cybersecurity strategy of the program got the final approval in March 2019. Once the project is fully completed, the missile will have a publicly disclosed range of 925 kilometers or 575 miles, and the missile will be capable of traveling at speeds up to Mach 20. The tactical boost glide technology for the missile is being developed as a joint program between DARPA and the U.S. Air Force. The AGM-183A employs a hypersonic boost glide system where a rocket propels its payload to high speeds. The payload is then separated from the rocket before flying as unpowered glider towards the target. The missile's aeroshell is dropped from high altitudes and the hypersonic glider warhead is detached to glide and maneuver to the target at hypersonic speed, creating an impact equivalent to a powerful bomb. A fragmenting glide vehicle is launched from a conventional rocket or more precisely a solid rocket motor booster, to the upper atmosphere and, once it reaches hypersonic speeds, it separates from the rocket and glides to its target at speeds up to Mach 15. At these speeds, there is no need for a conventional explosive warhead, as the kinetic energy alone delivered during impact would be enough to destroy most targets. According to a news released by the Air Force, the test took place on December 9 and involved a B-52-8 bomber from the 412th Test Wing, releasing the prototype off the coast of Southern California. The so-called AGM-183A, all up round, has never been fired live before in testing. As per the U.S. Air Force, quote, following the missile's separation from the aircraft, it reached hypersonic speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, completed its flight path, and detonated in the terminal area. Indications show that all objectives were met." Unquote. Missiles live fire tests had already been carried out by the Air Force, although each test was intended to highlight the effectiveness of the rocket booster. In May, the initial booster test was successful. That test was followed by two unsuccessful tests and a subsequent mislaunch, which the service regarded as a partially successful outcome based on the still valuable information gathered. A warning was issued last week which indicated towards a possible major missile test from Point Mugusi Range off the California coast to the southwest of Los Angeles. The test took place on December 9, where the previous flight test of missile had taken place. During the testing, various aircrafts like High Altitude Observatory Gulfstream business jets and one of NASA's Doby B-57 F High Altitude Research Planes were also noticed. There are a few details available concerning the explosive warhead that a RR Gilly's boost glide vehicle is carrying. However, previous sources have suggested that it is a sophisticated blast fragmentation type designed to take use of the weapon's rapid speed to produce a hail of shrapnel that is particularly effective. Air Force Brigadier General Jason Bartolomei, Armament Directorate Program Executive Officer, said, quote, the AR Argui team successfully designed and tested an air-launched hypersonic missile in five years. I am immensely proud of the tenacity and dedication this team has shown to provide a vital capability to our warfighter, unquote. The Air Force has now successfully demonstrated the basic functionality of the complete AGM-183A missile, 
which has the potential to become the service's first ever operational air launched hypersonic weapon. Thanks for watching. If you came this far, that means you like our content. If you like our way of presenting things, thereby simplifying defense technologies for you, do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and select all option to get notified when we upload a video. Do like and share this video with friends and family. It will help us create more content like this in the future. This is Defense Space signing of.